I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a good chance that I could see exactly what you're doing online right now, if I was so inclined. All those tabs, all those apps you've got running, that file you just downloaded, it's all out there, perfectly visible. Fortunately, I'm just some guy in a YouTube video, and I'm also here to help you, but other people and your ISP aren't so polite. Now, you probably clicked on this video because you know that a VPN can help, and it absolutely can, but it's not flawless. Using a VPN online can keep you private, but you'll be a lot safer if you understand exactly just how private. I'm going to explain to you in this video exactly what a VPN hides, as well as what it doesn't, so that you can take the necessary steps to protect your anonymity online. My name's Callum, this is Top 10 VPN, let's get started. The purpose of this video isn't to tell you how a VPN works, and in fact, knowing the ins and outs isn't even all that necessary. The purpose of this video is to tell you, in clear, easy to understand language, what your VPN will and will not hide. We'll begin with the one that you probably already know, your IP address. Hiding it is the main aim of any VPN, and even really bad ones will probably still do it. And with your IP address hidden, websites and other internet users will have a much harder time identifying you and attacking your computer or device. A VPN can also hide your physical location. And that means now, not only is your virtual location obscured, but your real one is too. And with a good VPN, you can become extremely hard to pin down on a map. Hiding the websites you visit is the other really big one. Without a VPN, anyone with the determination and the know-how can find out what sites you browse, something that your ISP is doing 24-7, whether you like it or not. Using a VPN makes it next to impossible to work out what domains you're visiting, even for your ISP. The same goes for the apps and programs you use. Whether you're on your smartphone or your computer, Anything you use that communicates with the internet will be hidden. In fact, it's not just the sites and apps themselves that are hidden, it's also how long you spend on them. Because all of the data going between your devices and the internet is scrambled, it's unclear exactly when you jump between websites or when you open and close an app. Next are the files you download and upload. With no VPN, it's public knowledge. With a VPN though, it's all hidden. And this naturally goes hand in hand with torrenting. If you've ever torrented without a VPN, well, you messed up, but it's okay. I forgive you, just make sure that doesn't happen again. Without a VPN, every single other person connected to the torrent files you're downloading can see your IP address, which is a huge security risk. And of course, your ISP can see what you're downloading too. Now, you should never break the law when torrenting files, and we will always strongly condemn piracy, but there's nothing wrong with wanting some privacy. Finally, there's one last big thing that a VPN can hide, and it's something that not a lot of people know. Using a VPN can hide the fact that you're using a VPN. This isn't true for all VPNs though, and it's probably the least certain out of all the things I've listed so far. In fact, now it's time for the really fun bit, which is telling you all about why a bunch of the stuff I've just said is kind of conditional. With a really, really good VPN, you won't have anything to worry about, but it's still really helpful to know what to look out for. First of all, hiding your IP address. It's true that it's super basic, but it can still sometimes go wrong. To keep the technical stuff really, really simple, because that's a topic for a whole other video, there are two different types of IP address, IPv4 and IPv6. IPv4 is more common than IPv6, so that's what 99% of VPNs optimize for. As a result, sometimes IPv6 can slip through the cracks, resulting in what we call an IP leak. We test for all this stuff so that you don't have to, and we'll never recommend a VPN on our site with a serious history of IP leaks. As for your physical location, this can sometimes still be worked out from your GPS data. Again, not every VPN has a clean track record for hiding this consistently. The good news is that while it's way more common than an IP leak, GPS data leaks are a lot more generic. Now, at worst, it simply means that some sites might know what country or region you're in. It's not like they'll be able to see or work out your street name. The hardest thing of all for a VPN to hide though is the fact that it's a VPN. If someone was to monitor your internet connection, they'd see that VPN traffic looks very different to regular traffic. It's because of this that countries that ban VPNs are able to do so so effectively. The solution is to find a VPN that has effective obfuscation. And when done properly, this will allow it to go undetected. Again, this isn't necessarily something to be concerned about. It's only an issue if you live in or are visiting a country which forbids the use of VPNs. Anywhere else, and it doesn't matter if you seem to be using a VPN. While we obviously think that everyone should be using a VPN, they're not perfect, and it's no good using one if you don't have a clue about why or how they're helping you. Now, speaking of helping, if you've learned anything at all from this video, then please click the like button and feel free to subscribe to our channel. It's your support that makes these videos possible. Stay safe, stay informed, and I'll see you next time.